Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tosin and I am a GP based in London. Um, today's Monday and I have just arrived at my GP surgery. It's um, 8.50, so this morning involves me having a tutorial with my clinical supervisor and then I have a session seeing patients later on in the afternoon. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of um, the room that I'm gonna be in today. So this is the room here. Um, it's actually quite a spacious room um, and it's got everything I need for my consultation. Um, yeah, so I've got this little shelf here where we have all the things that I might need. So if I need to, it's very unlikely that I'll be taking blood um, as a GP, but um, a lot of patients come in with water work infection. So um, I tend to give that bottle there and then we use this bottle um, for stool culture. Um, so yeah, this is the shop's bin, the little computer area, um, my printer, um, disposable bins, and also the couch. And it's got a little section here um, for you know um, gynecological examination if needed. So I'm currently running late for my tutorial at the moment. So after my tutorial, I'm gonna um, come back obviously and let you guys know what happened and talk to you more about um, you know life as a GP doctor. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, so I am just checking in. So it's currently around, um, I think it's about one, let me just check. Yeah, so I think it's about one um, fifteen at the moment. So this morning I had a tutorial with my clinical supervisor. So normally every week I have a two to three hour session with my clinical supervisor. And that session is basically led by me. It's a time where I'm able to discuss patients, get some advice and also discuss topics as well. So I really do find them quite useful. All GP trainees um, who are in their GP rotation have this um, dedicated time where they have one-to-one -one supervision with their clinical supervisor who are basically um, seniors. The morning session went really well. Um, the next thing on for me today is that we have a practice meeting, which is at 2 p.m. The meeting happens every, once a week as well, and it has all the doctors in the practice. So the, the doctors, the partners, um, the practice nurses, and also we get the district nurses and also the palliative care team to come in. And um, this is an area where we discuss about patients and also discuss management plan. So it allows a um, multidisciplinary approach when uh, managing patients. And I actually really find this uh, meeting quite useful. And it's something that I try to attend every single week. Um, after that, I have a 3 p.m. session where I'm going to be seeing patients. Um, so yeah, I've um, so got a long day ahead of me. I forgot to bring my lunch today. Normally I meal prep on a Sunday, but for some reason this weekend, um, I didn't manage to do that. All right, bye. The printer's turning on and I've also got my coffee. I can't do without my coffee and I have to have this. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. Yeah. 
So I'm just logging onto the computer now and waiting for that to turn on. I've got my coffee and I just need to go and collect some of the equipment from the reception area. So I'm back in a second. So I've just collected my equipment and normally um, in this practice um, you have to go to the reception and sign for the equipment box and you get all the equipment that you need. It's in here and I'll just go through it with you. Hey guys. So first of all we have the thermometer here and this is what we use to check patient's temperature. Um, yeah. Um, this is not opened yet, but this is the pulse oscillometry, and what hap what this does is it checks the oxygen level um, in the bloodstream. So it's this little little instrument here, and what you do is you basically put your finger inside of it, and um, you leave it on for a while, and it basically checks um, your oxygen. So it's important for patients who um, have lung conditions or who are prevent um, presenting with. Um, um, symptoms such as a cough or um, breathlessness, so that's what we use this for. Um, another thing is obviously the stethoscope. I don't use this one, I've got my own one in my bag and I'm going to take it out before my surgery starts. Um, I prefer my one um, to use and I think it's maybe a little bit better than this one. So um, yeah, so obviously you do need the stethoscope and most doctors, every doctor um, have their own stethoscope. There's also a tendon hammer, um, and this is used to check patients' um, reflexes. Um, we have the, um, the equipment for, to examine the ears and also the eyes. So in this one, there is a piece missing, but the main use of it, so this one has got the ophthalmoscope, and what we use this for is to um, look at the back of the eyes. So yeah, this is the ophthalmoscope, and we just, Use like this to um, look and examine the eyes and also the back of the eyes so yeah and also there should be one more thing in here and I'll need to get it before my session starts and that's um, an autoscope um, just to look in the ears to make sure there isn't any infection or um, to see if there's any um, reasons why patients are presenting with ear problems other things that I use at the surgery is a blood pressure machine which is very useful um, we've also got some tongue depressors here, um, um, especially when I'm trying to examine the back of the throat. And also, I think that's about it. So yeah, those are the main equipments that I use in my surgery. And it's it's very it's very handy that my surgery gives out gives out these boxes because they're actually quite expensive. Little instrument here, so I can check patients' urine. Uh, make sure they don't have an infection or anything like that. I've also got some lube and there are some speculums here if I needed to do a gynecological examination. Okay, so it's now about one, it's about one, one forty. I've got my equipment. Um, I forgot to mention, I've also got my scripts. So these are FP10 scripts, and these are what is used to prescribe medication for patients. However, um, there's a new move towards electronic prescription. So instead of using that script, um, online we use a um, web base called EMIS. And what I can do is I can prescribe the medication on the system, and that will go straight um, to the pharmacy and this pharmacy can be any pharmacy of the patient's choice and um, instead of having paper um, scripts they can just go directly to the pharmacy um, show some sort, um, sort of um, ID or proof and they will have um, the prescription so it saves paper saving the planet um, which is good and I think it's quite it's, it's quite useful okay so what I'm gonna do now is I have a few patients that I have to give um, telephone calls to. Um, so these are patients that I've seen previously and I've ordered investigations for. Um, so what I'm gonna do is they are, they've been put down in my telephone um, slots 
on the system and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a call just to discuss their results and also discuss if they need further test or if they need um, a referral or um, discuss how I'm going to manage the thing that they initially presented with. Hey guys, so I've just finished my afternoon session seeing patients. Um, I've just got to um, finish up writing my notes and also send in some referrals. Um, hopefully it's about 6, 12 at the moment. So hopefully I should have left in the next 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna try my best to do all my paperwork um, in 15 minutes or so. Fingers crossed, because I do not wanna be here any later than I need to be. So that's the end of the video guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.